Right, good, uh, good, good morning ladies and gentlemen, a very, well, warm but slightly damp welcome to the Bluebell Railway. I've got the nod, she's not going to blow off anymore, so uh, we, we'll proceed. I've Thanks, got Andy. Two minutes, Roy, right. got two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're joining us today at this rather auspicious occasion to rededicate this wonderful locomotive back into squadron service. Um, it's been a labour of love for uh, a dedicated group who have restored this locomotive um, since it was withdrawn in 2011. Um, it's certainly nice to see it, but clearly it's, it's a week or weekend of bullets, judging by, in fact, they must be the most popular uh, locomotive out at the moment, bearing in mind how many were at Swanage last week and the three that were on the main line, and now this young lady's joining us. So, this is not about me, but this is about the people that have worked hard to return this engine into traffic and the, the condition that you see her in today. I mean, the paintwork, without doubt, is, is absolutely uh, absolutely stunning, and it, it's a credit to those those in, involved. But it's not for me to say a few words. I'd like to now introduce you to a gentleman who probably needs no introduction to, which is Tim Dunbrow, a historian and TV presenter, who would like to say a few words. So, thank you. Thank you, Roy. It is so weird standing here in front of all of you because normally I'm on that side looking at some beardy bloke talking at me instead, telling me about trains or railways or something. So I'm actually here because Roy asked me to come along here today and I'm standing here, it isn't about me as he said, it is about all of you actually today. All of you have contributed, been a part of this in any way, small or large, contributing towards this locomotive and I hope everyone is extremely proud of what is sitting here in this platform today. Because I of course then thought to myself, what on earth am I doing here? Why am I allowed to come and stand here in front of this engine that I've got nothing to do with? I, I didn't restore this. You guys did all of that, really, in, no matter how much you contributed towards it. But I thought, I'm going to research this quickly. What I learned very quickly about this locomotive is its incredible story. And how it reaches beyond politics, beyond economics, beyond history, beyond local stories and people too. I've learned so many things. But we just, I mean... <laughs> And also geography and climate as well, we could talk about. But I just, I've reached into different areas and I could have spent probably six, seven hours just looking at this engine's history and its past. I'm not going to regale you with stories about that, though, not at all. I want to tell you though, I'm here though because it's actually about the people I represent and that's the public who are going to see this now. And it's thanks to you lot that this engine is now going to be out there in front of the public and doing its thing, giving people a great day out. So it's a war memorial. It's a British built engine that has got European parts to it. It's an international design. This is a memorial not just to those people of the past, it's a memorial to your love as well. So thank you very much everybody who's been a part of this and well done and may this engine go forward creating love and joy for the future. Cheers. Thank, thank you Tim. As Tim says it is a labour of love and uh, for the Bluebell members and everyone involved on this, uh, you should be incredibly proud of your railway at the moment. Um, if you've looked at the far end, you've seen Pullman Car 54, and those of you that remember Car 54 when it arrived was a complete wreck. This engine, of course, is one of the Barry expatriates, and you haven't sadly seen it today. We've had to lock it away, but the, when you see the Brighton Atlantic, you'll appreciate just the amount of work that's gone into bringing that back into traffic and again when you see that that is a stunning uh, piece of restoration but now of course the all important time to bring this locomotive uh, back into traffic is for us to draw the curtains so i'd now like no i don't particularly want to do it because it's not right i would actually like to ask mr and mrs roger cruz to come forward because these are two stalwarts Sally was in fact involved in the rededication the last time this locomotive came back. So it's only fitting that two people that work very hard for the Bullet Society come back and do the honours for us. And fundraising in the show. And well, fundraising in the show. Right, hang on a sec, I'll get you the right cord. Yeah, 
blow. Yeah. <laughs>